Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Now one of the jobs I'm doing today, and it's, um, it's the latter half of February now, having gone through a particularly cold spell, um, I could leave this for another month, but I don't think the plant's going to suffer if we get another cold spell, is I'm cutting back one of my pineapple pineapple guavas or feijoas. Now what the reason I'm cutting this one particular one back is this is an unnamed variety and it has been producing fruits but they're quite small round fruits. Uh, I would say they're of inferior quality as far as I'm concerned um, and it, it serves the purpose of being a lovely ornamental plant but I really want to concentrate on my name varieties and trying to get them bigger um, rather than having this one fill up the border and uh, sort of cut the light out from everything else. For example, I've got an in-ground persimmon tree behind it, which is uh, a seedling variety, so it isn't a name variety and may never fruit anyway, but it badly gets the light cut off from it behind this particular pineapple guava. So what I've been doing, this is the largest one I've got, I've been taking about a foot to two feet off the height of it, as you can probably see what I'm doing here. Now this will recover very quickly in the spring and bush out heavily, but I want to thin the bush down. Um, one of the reasons I'm, I'm happy to keep it is obviously it provides a lot of flowers for cross-pollinating the name varieties. I've got a mammoth and a triumph about three or four feet away from it on either side and obviously I'm hoping the pollen from this one spreads to the others and encourages pollination but the fruit it, it produces itself is not very good quality but what I might do this year if it gets any fruit on it because it might be affected by me cutting it back it might um, reduce its flowering down is if I get any fruit I might just thin it out to a handful of fruit and see if that causes them to get much larger but I just thought I'd do a short video on my pineapple guava cutting it back in winter. Um, this is the unnamed variety which produces round fruit rather than the larger oval ones. So um, we'll see what happens in the spring and early summer and obviously I'll do updates on it. So thanks everybody who's watched the video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Uh, share the video with anyone you think might be interested. It's not a lesson on pruning pineapple guavas I'm just giving a um, giving this one a, a good lop back uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and remember that if you hit the bell you'll be updated on new videos as they come out in the course of spring and summer catch up with you all soon Brett out for now